Welcome back to some more Battlefield 5 gameplay, and I've got a question for you today, guys. Um, I think I'm going to use the M1 Garand. Obviously a very iconic weapon. It's not one I've actually used all that much. What sights do I go? I tend to struggle with those little scopes. Maybe I'll just run old school. Maybe I'll just run the old school iron sights uh, and see how we go. Let's drop in. I'm on Wake Island. Uh, which is a fantastic looking map and guys this game has been blowing me away with just how good it is the quality you know the the audio the atmosphere yeah i can't see i can't see come on yeah i can't see a damn thing through this i might have to change scope let's see if i can find someone there's where'd that guy go yeah that's difficult to see through isn't it which i'm sure it probably was in real life as well uh, there he is. No, nope, yet. Nah. I might have to put a scope on. We have the okay, so let's... Do I try that one? I mean, that's okay, but the foggy glass kind of irritates me, so maybe I'll just go this one. Right, let's get back into it. So I can actually see something through here. Let's see if we can't find a couple of guys to shoot at. There's one. Okay, alright. It's not a lot of recoil, actually. It's really good. Uh, interestingly about the M1 Garand, it was actually the first semi-auto rifle um, to be issued for any nation's military, as far as I'm aware. And, of course, that iconic ping as you um, pop the clip. It's called an on-block clip, I believe. And uh, you, can't, uh, you can't reload the weapon whilst the clip is in the gun, but you can apparently manually... Um, eject the clip and then sort of load it up if, if it's not emptied. Let's fire one of them in there. How destructible is this building? That's the next question. Oh, there's a guy right there. Okay, there we go. We're on the board. <laughs> nice. Uh, it feels okay so far. There's not a lot of recoil, but I don't know how much punch it's got either. One of the best things about the M1 Garand, though, in real life, that is, not in the game, is just how durable it was. Um, so it was actually, it was used on D-Day. Uh, as they landed, it was used in uh, battles like the Battle of the Bulge, for example, um, throughout the Pacific Theatre. Uh, and it, su it survived everything from mud to everything. Um, you know, the, the humidity, the, the rain, everything. It was just a really reliable weapon. It's obviously become very iconic, uh, especially for especially for the US military. I want to lift. Yeah, here we go. Let's go. Right, okay, so the Jeep's not in good condition at the moment. It's a little bit hard to aim and shoot on the run. I think about one decent round into the side of this. Uh, yeah, okay, he's, he's abandoned ship. Right. Well, uh, let's move our way up, eh? Yeah, so like I say, I've been frothing on Battlefield 5 lately. I just find it a really good, high-quality game. Uh, and I'm blown away by how good it is. Uh, that guy wasn't revived. Actually, that might be a war crime. <laughs> Shooting someone that's injured. Oh, there's a medic. Okay. And did he, did he get up? No, I don't think he did. Um, but yeah, it's got me wondering, why am I finding this game from, what, like six years ago, 2018? Um, so good. It, it's, you know, why have I jumped back in and found it so amazing? Do we think it's possibly because modern games um, uh, have lowered my expectations and standards so much that I can jump back into a game of this age and find it so amazing? I feel like I shouldn't be this blown away by such an old game. There's a guy there. Okay, I'm going to have to hide here. I'm not sure if I should have given my position away. Let's sneak out. Oh yeah, he wasn't looking down the bottom. Oof, almost got me. Uh, or alternatively, is it just that the games that are fun to play, the ones that we like, um, don't tend to come out of the big AAA, highly polished studios, so you kind of enjoy games that maybe don't look as good and don't have that atmosphere? That's friendly. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm interested to know what you guys think as well. Okay, now there was someone here. I saw him run through. Through. Where is he? Down on the beach? Somewhere. Oh, there he is. Reviving his mate. Who, he didn't get him up yet. No, he's not revived. Alright, let's work our way towards B. Got me. Damn. Right in the face. Uh, right, let's keep pressing on. Uh, but yeah, it did make me wonder. Like, I, I feel like I'm just 
a little bit too impressed um, with this old game, but uh, I don't know. Like, I haven't been playing a lot of first-person shooters, maybe because I haven't been enjoying them. And I, to be fair, I didn't enjoy Battlefield Five all that much. All I sort of remember from it is that it wasn't very good, and, and I guess six years down the track and yeah, everything that happens within six years... Am I going to get even a hit on here? Uh, I guess it's got me wondering, you know, why haven't I been playing shooters? Have we uh, have we gotten to a stage where the best games tend to come out of the l maybe the cheaper studios or cheaper, um, the less well-funded studios? Right, oh, lads, let's just send it. Let's get in there. We're close now. We might be able to capture this. Oh god, there's so many explosions. <laughs> let's go. Oh, I'm gonna oh, shot from behind. Okay, you know what? God, there's so many explosions. This feels like a bad idea. Is there anyone there? There is one. There's one. That was a that was a critical hit, but not enough for a kill. Oh god, there's guys next to us. There we go. Oh, there. <laughs> Bang. Okay, so they got us pretty well pinned down here. Anyone that runs over that uh, is is dying immediately. So we might just have to hold up for a second, put a bit of pressure on them before we push forward. As I think most of us, yeah, there's people everywhere up there. Slob a grenade over. Ooh, a jeep. Oh, hang on. I've seen this before. I've seen this before on better. I watch YouTube as well. Let's get some. This is going to be epic. Let's get some of these on here. Let's drive it straight in and see if we can't take out their little nest. Um, yeah, I know how to make these epic videos. I used to watch these back in the day. Back in the Battlefield 3 days. The Battlefield 4 days. Here we go. Let's go. This is Sparta! Oh god, I don't have the detonator. What's about my... Ah! Oh, ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, that did not go the way I was hoping. I, I kind of thought I'd have the detonator in my hand when I jumped out. And I could just hit bang and I knew I was going to die. Anyway, I certainly died. I didn't get my epic battlefield moment. <laughs> okay, so here's the scenario. We've got 64 tickets left. 63 now. Let's revive this guy. Um, and it's time to start pressing for the win. We've almost got him through. This is the last one. It's a very hotly contested flag. There is death and destruction everywhere. Let's see if we can't try and get up and capture this one. I'm trying to press on. Plenty of smoke. Smoke is super powerful in this game, isn't it? I mean, I suppose it is everywhere, but I just... There we go. It's, it's one on the board. Oh, grenade! Grenade, grenade! No, it's gone far enough past us. We're all fine. I am within the zone, but you can see how contested it is fire some random shots. There is definitely guys running through there and that grenade's going to get me. Slight retreat out of the zone. I think we just need to kind of get up within the area. I mean, they know I'm here. Oh, wow. Okay, so that didn't kill me. That was just a large explosion. But probably time to retreat just a little bit. 47 tickets. We might be able to do this. This is going to be pretty close. We're capturing that flag now. Okay, I need to I need to try a different route and then get in there and try and help capture it. We just want to overwhelm them with numbers. But they're pretty well there we go. That was two headshots, I think. So Okay. This is gonna be a pretty intense finish to this game, I'd suggest. Oh my god, I can't hit a damn thing. He knew exactly which way to zig and zag then, didn't he? Right, let's get in. I just need to get within the capture zone. There's a couple, they're dead. Oh, I'm gone. We're running out of tickets. Down to 41. Can I get a sneaky revive? We've got medics. There we go. Thank you. Let's get back in the fight. We are so close. Come on. 40 tickets left. Oh, wow. I keep getting knocked over by these explosions. I'm going to try and get a revive. Down to 35 tickets. Come on. Up you get. And the victory, the victory, very nice. That was awesome. What a great finish to that game. Ah, I'm glad I recorded that one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you're still here, appreciate you. Remember to leave a like, hit subscribe if you're new, and I'll talk to you in the next one.